Mm. True. Yeah. We'll wait until David sits down, then I'll say hello. <laughs> Thank you. He needs a little assistance. Oh, there he oh, goes. We Good both on. need a lot of assistance. <laughs> we both need a lot of assistance, but we're happy okay. to be here. There, he's seated. Like a um, oh, and Mitchell's here. <laughs> oh, that's not Mitchell and Andy. That's a different. Hi, guys. How are you? Shabbat shalom. No, shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. There he is. That's shabbat another shalom. Mitchell. Ah, or maybe the it's the same Mitchell. Reading from the country. <laughs> ah, of course. Mitchell and Andy. That's right. Hi, everyone. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Hey, did you guys pregame? What, Brian? Did you guys pregame with some wine? Oh, always. It's Friday night. <laughs> yeah, okay. Shabbos, you know, after all. Good job. You do your brachas. Hi, Deb. To... Hi, Deb. Hi, Deb. And this is my birthday weekend. Sunday's my birthday. Oh, happy, oh, birthday. happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. You know what? Andy, stay cool. How's that for a present? <laughs> Sounds yeah. wonderful. Stay cool. It's beautiful. Shiver. Shiver. Beautiful, <laughs> beautiful Sunday weekend. Is it raining in the city? Any second again. It's going to. Oh, really? Really? Yes. Hello. And we you may know. have another one of those one starts second. with a, a, a T. I don't I hope want to no say more it. tornadoes. Oh, my goodness. Let's see, she said. Really? Out here in the country, it's gorgeous. Wow. Of course, oh, it's it, gorgeous. It, it, this it, is the country. Over, Hi, yeah. Andrea. What's the country? Nice to see Shabbat you. Shalom. Yeah. <clears throat> Where's the country? Lake Forest. Lake Forest. Oh. That's oh. A, Lake Forest. Country. Very nice. It's I what? Southwest Kishinev, right? No, nah. it's 25 miles north of the city. We're right along. Yeah. The, right oh, next it's north. It's not that far. Oh. No. So what are There's so what's in, the what am I thinking of that's south? I don't know. Our it's forest. got a forest. <laughs> Park Park Park. Forest. Oh, Park. Forest Park. Oh, Park. Forest Park. Forest Park. Forest Park. See, I got confused. It happens <laughs> once you hit 50. Yeah. We're just, <laughs> if you haven't hit 50 yet. <laughs> you like that one? I like that one myself. That sounds good. <laughs> there we go. Oh, now we just have. We're going to get. Would that be too complicated? That sounds like a Vivo. <laughs> Thank you. La 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 Six forty-eight. La 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 If you can turn to whatever page you want. La 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 la
Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. What an absolute honor, pleasure it is to be back on this bima. I have not been on this bima since before, since April, actually. Wow. Uh, having two, my last two months of paternity leave with my youngest son, and then for the last two weeks, I've been at camp. I've been at Asrui, our Union for Reform Judaism summer camp up in Economawak, Wisconsin, and uh, got back in Chicago about two hours ago uh, just to be back here with you to celebrate Shabbat. And so I am still so very much in camp mode. I have been uh, hanging out with a bunch of middle school kids, uh, preparing their uh, their services that they were leading, working with them on programming, doing Jewish in a really beautiful camp way. And so I get to come back here bringing that kind of like, let's go Judaism energy. Uh, and so tonight, uh, it is also an honor that I don't have to, you know, in the, out of the corner of my eye, be watching one of my two kids who's like playing in the corner of, of tefillah, of services, of prayer. Uh, so that's a little easier for me tonight. Um, but you do have to keep your eye on the canter. Uh, yes, very much so. What very much do. so. Yeah. <laughs> um, but it is, it is uh, a real blessing that we get to be together to celebrate Shabbat together, to bring in that love of Shabbat, that light of Shabbat, that joy of Shabbat, uh, to help us bring in all of those blessings of Shabbat. I get to invite up Leo Rosen and Lily Kornblum to light our Shabbat candles and then join us for Kiddush as well. We're on page 120 for our blessing over the Shabbat candles. invite the two of you to join us over here. Uh, joining us for the Kiddush, as is our custom, we rise on page 123 for Kiddush. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Borei Peri Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Kiddushanu V'mitzvotav V'ratzavanu V'shabat Kosho V'ahava U'vratzon Hinchilanu Zikaron L'masei V'reshit Ki Hu Yom Tehila L'mikra Ekodesh Zecher litziyat mitraim Kivanu v'acharta V'otanu kidashta Mikoh ha'amim 
Seated, we may be seated as we turn the, to page 138, where we are going to find the words of Lecha Dodi. Uh, as is our custom, we're going to do verses 1, 2, 5, and 9. And on that last verse, on verse 9, rising, facing the entrance as if we are at the most beautiful wedding and the Sabbath bride is coming down the aisle and we get to witness this wedding of the world and Shabbat each and every Friday night. We, we remain standing, or we rise if you are able, on page 146 for the words of Baruch Hu. Lie, 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 lie,
next page, page 148, being a camp, we're really aware of light and darkness. Because those cabins, uh, you really, you're outside, you're experiencing the light coming up in the morning, experiencing the lights going down during evening program. And so this prayer always really speaks to me when I'm outside like that. Let us pray together in the English in the middle of the page. Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, ruler of the universe, who speaks the evening into being, skillfully opens the gates, thoughtfully alters the time and changes the seasons, and arranges the stars in their heavenly courses according to plan. You are creator of day and night, rolling light away from darkness and darkness from light, transforming day into night and distinguishing one from the other. Adonai Tzavaot is your name. Ever-living God, may you reign continually over us into eternity. Blessed are you, Adonai, who brings on the evening. Baruch Ata Adonai, Hama'ariv Aravim. Page 152. <coughs> Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Adonai Echad Shem Kerud Malchuto Leolam Leolam Vaed. You may be seated. They are it Adonai Lohecha. The holy of how the whole of Shekha, who will call me Odeha, the Hayu had Barima Ele, Ashera no he Mitzabha, Hayom Aleva Veha, Vishinantam Levaneha, Vidibarta Bishif Techa Bebet Techa, Uvlech Techa Baderech, Uvshoch Becha Uvkumecha, Uksharth Ham Lehot Al Yadecha, Vayul Totafot Beninecha, Uktav Tam Ham Zuzot Betecha, Uvisharecha. Leman tiskeru, vasitem et kol mitzvotai, vitem kidushim lelohechem. Ani Adonai elohechem, asher hotseti etchem, meheretz mitzrayim, liot lachem lelohim. Ani on page 158, we find the same song that we have been singing for generations and generations, ever since our ancestors sang them at the shores of the sea upon reaching freedom. Okay, 
at the top of 161, praying together, let there be love and understanding among us. Let peace, peace and, and friendship be our shelter from life's storms. storms. Adonai, Adonai, help us to walk with good companions, companions to live with hope in our hearts and eternity in our thoughts, that we may lie down in peace and rise up waiting to do your will. Baruch atah Adonai, haborei sukkat shalom aleinu, ba'kol amo Yisrael, ve'al Yerushalayim. On the next page. Veshamru v'nei Yisrael et ha-shabbat Lasot et ha-shabbat ledorotam Berit olam v'ni uven v'nei Yisrael ot hi Sheshet Yamim Asadonai Et Hashamayim Ve'et Ha'aretz Uvayum Hashmi Shabbat Shabbat Vayin Hafa Shabbat Shabbat Vayin Shabbat, Shabbat, Vayin Afash. As we prepare for the Amidah on page 164, did you know that Sunday through Thursday, there's a whole other tune of the Amidah? It sounds quite different. I had no idea until I got to rabbinical school. <laughs> but every one of our kids at Machane Asrui, at Camp Asrui Olensang Ruby Union Institute up in Akonmawak, uh, knows that really well because we pray twice a day, every day at camp. And during the regular week, we pray the other nusach, we pray the other melody. Um, even though here at Temple Sholem on Sunday morning, which would be the weekday, weekday version, we do the Shabbat version for our kids so that they learn it best that way. Um, but our, our kids up at camp really look forward to Shabbat, really look forward to hearing the Shabbat melody that they know so beautifully and so well. And so here we get to pray it together. We rise in body or we rise in spirit on page 164. Sadim Tovim, Vikone Hakol, 
וזוכר חסדי אבות ואימהות, ומביא גאולה לבני בניהם, למען שמו באהבה. מלך עוזר, מושיע ומגן, ברוך אתה אדוני, מגן אברהם בעזרת שרה. אתה גיבור לעולם אדוני, מחיי הכל אתה רב לבושיע, מוריד הטל. מחלחל חיים וחסד, מחיי הכל ברחמים רבים, סומך נופלים ורופא חולים, ומתיר אסורים, ומקיים אמונתו לשני עפר. מחמוך הבעל גבורות, ומדומה לך, מלך מנית ומחייך, ומצליח ישועה, ונאמן אתה לאחיות הכל, ברוך אתה אדוני, מחייך הכל. אתה קדוש ושמך קדוש, וקדושים בכל יום יהללו חסלה. ברוך אתה אדוני, העיר הקדוש. From this page, page 70 through, page 170 through 180, are the rest of the prayers of the Amidah, of the Shmona, is right, the 18 central prayers. And so this is why we take this moment of privacy of silent prayer. For some of us, it might be reading through the rest of those blessings. For some of us, it might be reading through the blessings that are upon our hearts. For some of us, it might be a rare moment of silence in the midst of a busy week. But for each of us, we take that moment of silent prayer, each of us in our own way. Shalom dim romav Hu yase shalom aleinu Ve'al kol Yisrael Ve'al kol yoshve tevel Ve'imru The middle of 
page 371, we find our prayer called Mi Shaberach, literally the one who blesses. But truly, when we extend that sentence, the one who blessed our ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah, and all those we read about in our Torah, the one who blessed those ancestors of ours, please bless us. Bless our families, our friends, our loved ones, especially those who are in need of healing, those who are ill. May God bless them with health. May they be restored in strength. May their caretakers have the strength and love to continue each and every day sharing that strength and love with those they care for. If there are those on this Shabbat who you're thinking of who are in need of that blessing of healing, I invite you to share their name aloud with the community. Thank you, Christy. Thank you, Sir Maria Pinaral, Yubavo Pinaral, and Michelle. For all those mentioned aloud, and those who we hold in our hearts, and for those of our friends and family who are uh, joining us by Zoom, uh, we pray the words of Misha Barach in the middle of 371. Nisha pretty sure that the email said Rabbi Conover was giving this sermon. Your confusion is, uh, is legitimate. Um, so was mine. Um, I was at camp just a few hours ago, got the call, needed to be here because uh, she had a family emergency. But I get to still share what I was going to share at camp this evening. You see, every Shabbat, uh, each unit, the clergy gives a Devar Torah in the spirit of a story. And then one is chosen, one person is chosen to tell a, story, uh, tell a story in front of the whole camp. I feel like I have been chosen to tell the story in front of the whole synagogue. I love this story. This is called The Magic 
slippers. So here's how this goes. We're going to meet Shlomo. Shlomo lives in a town far away at a time long ago. And Shlomo, he sells rags. That is what he sells each and every day. He comes into town, rags for sale, rags for sale, got some rags for sale. He's not very excited about his rags because they're rags. They're a little torn, they're a little dirty, but he sells them. And he always, each day, sells just enough rags in order to buy himself a morsel of bread and the next morning enough rags to sell that next day. Just enough to eat and just enough to buy more to sell more. And that's how he goes each and every day. Rags for sale, rags for sale. Well, one day, it happened to be a surprisingly nice day out. And he was feeling a little more upbeat and rags for sale, rags for sale. Well, he ended up selling enough rags that day that he bought himself lunch for the first time in months. And here he is, finally has a morsel of bread for lunch. He goes down to the river that goes, that flows through their little town. He sits down, excited to eat his bread. He, of course, says hamotzi over his bread, but right before he takes a bite of it, he looks down river and sees a young woman with her child. And it's clear that she is eating just crumbs and giving just crumbs to her little child. He looks down at his bread, which he just said mozi for, just said the blessing for him to eat, but he realizes this bread is not for him to eat. And he goes down the river and gives this woman uh, his morsel of bread that he worked so hard for. The moment he does so, he gets a tap on the shoulder. And there is a person there in the most beautiful gown. And that person has the most beautiful jewels, perfectly white, everything is perfectly pressed, standing in front of the most beautiful, stark white horse you have ever seen. And this person says, Sir, I have a gift for you. And it hands Shlomo a box. Shlomo opens up this box, and inside are the most beautiful slippers he has ever seen. They are covered in rubies and gemstones. Every part that isn't covered is the most beautiful, perfect suede. It's got microfiber cloth and and it has the most perfect memory foam insoles. These slippers are perfect. And they fit him perfectly. Ooh, you can imagine the rest of that day literally walking on air. Shlomo is feeling good. Rags for sale, rags for sale. Who wants to buy some rags? I got rags for sale. And of course, with a little bit more energy, he sells more rags. That next day, he gets to buy even better rags. These don't have oil stains on them. They don't come pre-stained. Rags for sale, rags for sale. Check out these rags, rags for sale. Sells even better rags. That next day, hand towels for sale. Hand towels for sale. I got hand towels. Full towels, beach towels. Every day a little bit better is what he's selling. We go ahead and we catch up to Shlomo a couple years later. And Shlomo here has an empire of the most beautiful upholstery fabric outlets all across the land. It is not just uh, not just outlets, but really, if you want the most beautiful draperies, the most beautiful uh, clothes, the most perfect wedding dress, you go to Shlomo. Everybody knows that. Everyone knows you go to the Shlomo with the beautiful slippers. But by this time, 
his slippers weren't so beautiful. He had worn them every single day, and they weren't nearly as shiny anymore. The memory foam was pretty flat at this point, and they were pretty worn. And it was also at this time, upon taking them off and going about his day for the first time in years without them, that he realized it wasn't necessarily the slippers after all. Maybe it was him. Maybe it was the excitement he had at wearing them. And this might be the end of the story, but in fact, they were magic slippers. So we'll catch up to the magic part. So, he decides, all right, I'm done with these slippers. And he puts them in the trash, takes the trash outside, and sends it off to the local dump. The moment he gets back inside, there's a knock at the door. And at the door is the garbage man, who says, Shlomo, you would not believe your luck. I was emptying out the trash at the, lo at the garbage dump, and out fell your slippers. We all know they're your slippers. So I rushed back here and brought them to you. Shlomo is like, okay, thank you so much for that. Not what I wanted, but thank you. The next day, Shlomo decides to bring it up a notch. He buries them. He digs a hole right on his property, buries them, and uh, puts them right underneath a rose bush. And, uh, hole. Well, wouldn't you know it, he gets back inside, washes off, and it's his gardener. Shlomo, you would not believe it. I was pruning the rose bush, and I saw just a little sparkle in the ground. I dug up this sparkle, and oh, there were your slippers. I don't know how they got there, but I brought them back for you. At this point, Shlomo knows he's got to do some drastic measures. So the next day, he goes out on his boat. He goes out and he ties these slippers to a weight and throws them overboard. Sails back home, washes off the, the sea water off of him, and of course, oh my God, Shlomo, you wouldn't believe it. I was out fishing, I set out my net, I caught the most beautiful fish, but right next to those fish, were your slippers. Shlomo knows these are not ordinary slippers. It wasn't just the feeling he had that brought about the better rags, but it, in fact, might have been these magical slippers. And he realizes there's only one thing for him to do. He must give them away. So he goes back to the same spot that he that he got those slippers, and he went looking. He went looking for someone who is doing a good deed, someone who is doing a mitzvah. And of course, he did not have to look far because this was a really special and holy town. He found someone giving up their morsel of bread, and he goes to them with a box. And inside that box, we know, are these old slippers that have not only been to the city dump, buried underneath the rose bush, gone to the sea and back. He gives up this box, and this woman who is receiving this box from him opens it up. And of course, they are most beautiful, perfect slippers you've ever seen. Beautiful rubies, beautiful gemstones, perfect memory foam. And thus, the slippers found someone else to bring luck, to bring joy to. And as it has, those slippers have gone through generations and generations, bringing good luck, bringing good charm, and bringing happiness to everyone who has that special gift. Shabbat Shalom. Friends, we, uh, we don't have any special slippers to give out tonight, but we do have one very important announcement, um, and that is for IOT, It's Our Turn. IOT, It's Our Turn is uh, our group here at Temple Sholem for those uh, 
empty nesters, never nesters, those 50 and over. Um, and so you get to join It's Our Turn at our annual Millennium Park concert get together. Um, it's an evening of, of course, good music because it's Millennium Park concert series, but good friends, friends you don't even know you had yet, good food, and we encourage you to bring your own chairs and blankets and such. Um, so that is July 19th. Um, so that is this, com this coming Wednesday uh, for a concert by Alexander Glazunov. So that's very exciting. Uh, we'll feature... An evening will feature pictures and an exhibition, Concerto by Alexander Glazunov. That's it. Um, so really exciting time. I will be dropping by as well um, because that's one of our, our best groups here at Temple Sholem. Um, well, we're going to turn back to our Sidurim. We're going to turn to page 586. At the bottom of the page, we find the words of Alenu L'Shabeach, as we rise in body or rise in spirit. I'm gonna sing us just a little bit higher, Minky. Can we do that? Thank you. Whew. That Shira has the most beautiful contralto, and I do not. Aleinu l'shabeach l'adon hakol L'atet g'dula liot sebreshit Shelo asanu kigoye haratzot Velo samanu kemishpechot adama Shelo sam chelkenu kahem Vegor aleinu kechol hamonam Vanachnu koreim Umishtachavim umodim Our thoughts turn to those who are no longer here upon this earth, but whose memory still exists within our hearts, within our souls, as we bring them into each and every day with us. We're thinking about those who have passed away in the last 30 days, this time known as Shoshim. Francis Eaton, Marion Kramer, Howard Nagelberg, Stevie Marks, and Irma Schwartz, and those whose yard sites are observed in this week now ending. William Barnett, Catherine Basso, Fern Bergstein, Fred Bondi, Morris Cohen, Ida Cohen, Miles Fleischman, Alvin Golub, Lois Kroll Good, Joel Goodman, Sarah Harris, Lewis Herman, Carol Hockman, Merle Horowitz, Melvin Hyman, Sarah Josie, Shirley Kersey, Janet Cohn, Jack Lewis, Rose Mihos, Alan Meyer, Barry Miller, Byron Price, Charles Royblatt, Walter Salzman, Helen Siner, Morris Smith, Kalman Steinloff, Bruce Trannan, Morton Wax, Debbie Weinstock, James A. Welsh, and Henry Walters. Walters. If we have names to add to our list of memory. I invite you to share them aloud. for them and because of them we together recite Kaddish Yatom in their honor page 598 excuse me 598 Yitgadal v'yitkadash me'rabah v'almadik rachi v'yitkadash me'rabah v'yitkadash me'rabah v'yitkadash me'rabah 
Fa'agala uvizman kari v'imru, amen. Yehe shemei raba mevarach le'alam u'lamei al-maya. Nidbarach v'yishtabach v'yitfa'ar v'yitromam v'yitnase. V'yitadar v'yitale v'yitalal shemei d'kudisha b'rifu. Le'ela min kol b'chata v'shirata. Tush b'chata v'nechemata. Da'amiran be'alma v'imru, amen. Yehe shalama raba min shamaya v'chayim alenu v'al kol Yisrael v'imru, amen. Ose shalom b'imromav v'yaase shalom alenu v'al kol Yisrael v'imru, amen. Ose shalom b'imromav Yase shalom aleinu. We may be seated. On page 649, we find at the top of the page the words of Tefillat Haderach. The words by Debbie Friedman, uh, beloved member of the Asrui community, who's truly uh, a force at, at Camp Asrui. Uh, and we conclude with the Pilat Hadera. May we be blessed as we go on our way. blessing, that each of us is blessed as we go on our way, that we bless those around us and they bless us with their joy, with their love, with their excitement and enthusiasm for life as we bless them with the same. Shabbat Shalom. We will join for Oneg in the other room for fantastic treats together. Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Shabbat Shalom. Uh, finally, yes. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat shalom. Um, uh, Have a good week. You too. Bye, shalom.
You go wishes oh, everyone. Well. Shabbat shalom. Arthur. Arthur wishes everyone a Shabbat Shalom. Uh, of course. Shabbat Shalom, Arthur. Shabbat Shalom. <laughs> From so Nettie. I'm leaving. Uh, bye. 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 Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom.